eOrganic proudly presents its Organic Dairy video series. The information in the series is brought to you by University of Vermont Extension and eOrganic, with funding from the USDA Organic Agriculture Research and Extension Initiative. eOrganic is eExtension's organic agriculture community of practice, providing certified organic agriculture information to farmers, educators, certifiers, and other agricultural professionals throughout the United States. For more information, visit us at extension.org slash organic underscore production. My name is Sarah Flack and I work as an organic inspector and I also do grazing consulting for farmers. And I'm going to talk a little bit today about some of the requirements in the new access to pasture rule. In February of 2010, the National Organic Program released the new Access to Pasture Rule. And this rule has some new requirements and some new record keeping requirements for organic farmers in the U.S. And so today I want to specifically talk about just one part of the new Access to Pasture Rule, which is 205-240. And this is the pasture practice standard. And this is actually a whole new section in the organic standards. So this requires that every year you have a pasture plan in your organic system plan. That's the application that the certifier has you fill out every year. And this has to be updated annually. And I'm just going to talk about one little piece of this pasture plan requirement. And you should definitely read the whole new pasture practice standard, section 205-240, so that you know all of the different pieces of it. But today we're just going to talk about how to set up a map, which is going to be part of the requirement. So this new pasture practice standard requires you to have a map of all of the pastures on your farm, and each pasture needs to have its own identification on the map. The standard also requires that you show the number of acres of the different pastures, also the location of the fences, where the sources of shade are, and also where the water is. And one of the easiest ways to do this is going to be to draw all of this right on the map. And there's a couple of ways to do this. One is if you have an NRCS grazing plan, this will all get drawn for you on a map as part of that planning process. But if you need to draw it yourself, you can go get one of these maps from your local NRCS office and have it include all your pastures. And then you can start using colored magic markers and just draw everything right on this map. So this is a farm where there's one large pasture that has been divided into some smaller areas. And so we're going to use this as our practice example and draw their pasture map. So this is a large field. It has a perimeter fence around it. So we're going to draw that on first in green. And you don't need to draw on the temporary fences. You only need to draw on the permanent fences. So this is where the perimeter electric fence goes around the whole large area that gets grazed. If you want to draw straighter lines, you could use a ruler. So that's the perimeter fence for the farm and then they have a central lane which divides this field into two large strips of pasture. And so these are the two fences on either side of the lane. And the barn is back here. And this is a custom heifer grazing operation. And so the animals are then strip grazed using temporary fences all through these two large pastures, but we don't need to draw on those temporary fences. So the next thing we can do is draw in the number of acres of these two pastures. So this is the north pasture, and it is 40 acres, and we're going to call it N, and then this is the south pasture, and it's also 40 acres. So now we've given each of the two main pastures an identification letter and written on the number of acres and we've drawn on all of the permanent fences. So that meets that part of the requirement. Now we're going to draw in the water sources. On this farm they have a piped water system, so we're going to draw the water pipe on in blue. And they're using portable water tubs here, so they'll need to describe that in their grazing system plan in their application every year. 
but that shows to the certifier where the water pipe is so that the animals have access to water whenever they're out there in the paddocks. And then the only other thing to add on to here is going to be the sources of shade, which we're going to do in orange. And this often can be helpful because a lot of times these maps will be slightly out of date like this one is. They've actually cleared these trees out of here, so there's no shade there anymore. But there is shade along the sides here and along the back of the pasture. And so now we've got a completed pasture map that can be sent into the certifier to meet the new rules requirement. And before you send this to your certifier, you'll want to make sure that you keep a copy of it for yourself. So you've got one for your own records and then you can send one into the certifier. And as with all things with this new pasture rule, make sure you check with the certifier to make sure you're meeting all of their requirements and read the whole rule so that you understand all of the different requirements that you have in order to meet it.